Now, let me go to the one passage that Samir, this barking dog, who wants me to stoop to his level and his prophet's level, was quoting that he thinks it shows that the Bible's corrupt. Go to chapter 2, verse 75. Let's deal with this guy. 275. Okay. Can I read that? Yeah, I need you to read it. Read 275 to 77. Read 275 to 77. I can. Oh, God. Two seventy. How much? Chapter two, verse seventy-five to seventy-seven. Okay, so chapter two, verse seventy-five says, "Do you believers still expect them to be true to you, though a group of them would hear the word of Allah, then knowingly corrupt it after understanding it?" Now you see how stupid this guy is. He quoted two seventy-five to say that the Bible's corrupt. How do you corrupt something you hear? I don't understand them. So. You see how stupid? No, he said, here it says that, what do they do with the words of Allah? Distort them, right? Exactly, yeah. But how did they distort them? Did they distort the text or they distort what they heard? Exactly, and with their tongues. So they don't distort the actual text. Yeah, but this is because he wants to be an ummi and literate. Thinks it means that they corrupted the text when it says they're distorting the Torah. Not by corrupting, changing the text of the Torah, but by hearing the words of the Torah and then misinterpreting them, playing with their meaning. I always, I always knew that the text was never corrupted. Well, he thinks 279 proves this point, but read 275 to 77 again. Okay, so beginning from 275. Do you believers still expect them to be true to you, though a group of them would hear the word of Allah, then knowingly corrupted after understanding it? When they meet the believers, they say, we believe. But in private, they say to each other, will you disclose to the believers the knowledge Allah has revealed to you so that they may use it against you before your Lord? Do you not understand? Do they not know that Allah is aware of what they conceal and what they reveal? And now, among, yeah. let me ask you a question. You go only 77. Don't go to 78. Now, question is, it says a group of them. So did they all do it? Uh, group of them. No, not not all of them, of course. So here we go with Muslims like Samir, this illiterate buffoon, who not only distorts the Bible, he even distorts his own Quran, misreads his Quran. He does the very thing that the Quran falsely accuses Jews and Christians of doing because he just twisted the Quran in front of us and he thinks he's going to get away with it because there it says it was a group, not all of them. And how do they distort it? Not the text. They didn't change the text. They distorted the meaning of the words, when they heard the words, they played with the words and misinterpreted the words and then miscommunicated the words, had nothing to do with the text, right? You're speaking to me, Sam? Yeah, had nothing to do with the text, I, I, right? I, I, that's, that's my belief, and it's always been well, because... Right there in front of him, saying, forget your belief. In the text, how did they distort the words? Did with they their tongues, the there's they only one. Or did they distort the words they heard? Exactly, they heard... But... I'm not going to tell, prove to you that according to this uh, Ummi, Samir, he proved that the Jews corrupted the Quran. Because now I'm going to show you what words they heard and they corrupted. Go to Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, read 44 to 46. Excuse me. Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, 44 to 46. Cor corrupted the Quran? Yeah, if you go to chapter 4, verse 44 to 46, you'll see what I'm getting at. Okay, chapter 4. Verses 44 to 46. Okay. Um, uh, uh, chapter 4, 44, right? Yep, all the way to 46. So read okay. 44, 45, have, 46. Okay. Have you, a prophet, not seen those who were given a portion of the scriptures yet traded for misguidance and wish to see you deviate from the right path? Allah knows the best who your enemies are, and Allah is sufficient as a guardian, and He is sufficient as a helper. Some Jews take words out, uh, yeah. Some Jews take words out of the context and say, we listen and we disobey. Hear, may you never hear. And Raina heard Raina. us, Raina. playing yeah. with words and discrediting the faith. Had they said courteously, we hear and obey, listen to us. And unzurna, it would, okay, tend to us. It would have been better for them and more proper. Allah has condemned them for their disbelief. And so they do not believe except for a few. 
Okay. Can I ask you a question? Oh, except for a few. Except for a few. Can so can I ask you a question? I know you're getting excited. Breathe a little bit. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Of course. Uh, these Jews, the people of the book, whose words did they twist and pervert? Of of Muhammad, right? Yes. So according to Samir, the whose prophet cursed people and insulted them and raped their women, and he's now trying to play nice and a higher moral ground, even though his example was filth. Uh, according to him, that means if they twisted the words of Muhammad, that means they corrupted the Quran, right? If that logic is true, that by twisting the meaning of words means that the text was corrupted, well, the Jews twisted the meaning of Muhammad's words and twisted certain Arabic words in order to make fun of Muhammad. Uh -huh. So if twisting words orally means they corrupted the text, that means exactly. they corrupted the Quran of Muhammad. Exactly. But the Quran, according to Muslims, is not corrupted. So the Torah is not corrupted as well. You see how stupid this is? But now, to show you how dumb some of these Muslims are, not you, you're respectful. May God bring you out of darkness into light. Now, in that same chapter, chapter 4, read 47. Same chapter. You read 44 to 46. Now read 447. What does it say about their scripture? The scripture of the Jews. Okay. So, O oh, you who were given the book, believe in what we have revealed, confirming your own scriptures. Before we Confirming wipe what? Your own scriptures. Your so, own in the scriptures. very context of Allah saying there is some of the people of the book who hear the words of Muhammad and twist those words and twist Arabic words to insult Muhammad, in that same context, Muhammad then is told to say to them, look, my Quran confirms your scriptures. Exactly, yeah. You Definitely. catch it? Definitely. Samir, so. you got, Samir, stop barking. You got one minute to join my stream here. I'm going to send you to Mecca to kiss the black stone like a pagan. Okay, now, the final verse they use to try to prove that the book has been corrupted. Go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 79. So let's get this out of the way. 279. Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, cha uh, so... Chapter 2, verse 79. This is the one that this uh, stone licker, Samir, this pagan, was misquoting. 279. Okay, 279. So, messenger... 279, chapter 2, verse 79. Oh, excuse me, 79. Okay. 279. Um, so, woo to those who distort the scripture with their own hands, then say, this is from Allah, seeking a fleeting gain. So, woo to them for woo. what their hands have written. And But doesn't say the Torah. Doesn't say the Torah. Well, we'll get there. We'll, 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 okay, we'll uh, sorry. Case, I'm so know. sorry. So, so, woo to those who distort the scripture with their own hands, then say, this is from Allah, seeking a fleeting gain. So woo to them for what their hands have written and woo to them for what they have earned. Okay, now the assumption is, see here it's talking about, see, they, they corrupted the scriptures and claimed this is from Allah. And that's the biblical books. Okay, let's see if that's true. I want you to read now the context. Read 78 to 79. The context, 78 to 79. 78 to 79. Okay. And among them are illiterate who know nothing about the scripture except lies. And so they wishfully speculate. All the way to 79. Read 78 to 79. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'll read it again. And among them are the illiterate who know nothing about the scripture except lies. And so they wishfully speculate. So woo to those who distort the scripture with their own hands. And say, who are those that deserve scripture in the context? Uh, okay, uh, so those who know nothing about the scripture except lies. And oh, so thank they, you. So 79 is referring back to the people in 78 that are illiterate when it comes to the scripture itself. They don't know the scripture. They haven't read the scripture. So now if they don't know the scripture and haven't read the scripture, they can't corrupt the scripture that they, they don't can know. Only hear. They can only hear and corrupt what they hear. Yeah, but what I'm talking about, you got to be patient. You're a little excited, brother. I'm Watch not so Logos. Logos. You're too excited. I want you to say Theos. Okay. If you reread it again, 78 talks about those who are illiterate when it comes to scripture. They don't know the scripture. They're untaught and illiterate when it comes to the scripture. They only have heard it from hearsay. And then it talks about that group in 79, then writing a scripture and claiming it's from God. So my question to you is, if that group does not know the scripture, 
they're illiterate when it comes to that scripture because they haven't read it, don't know it. They've only heard it from hearsay. Then how can 79 be referring to them corrupting the scripture when it tells you they don't know the scripture, they haven't read the scripture, they're ignorant of the scripture. So that means in 79, whatever scripture they wrote has nothing to do with the scripture, the Bible, that they don't know. Reread it again. Um, and among them are the illiterate who know nothing about the scripture except lies. And so, so they don't they know the scripture, right? Yeah, except lies. So they can only they corrupt read the lies. They don't know what the scripture is, right? Oh, yes. But okay, what, keep reading. Okay. Um, so would to those who distort the scripture with their own hands then say... Okay, now follow the logic. It's saying, so woe to those, the ones that I just mentioned, right? Yeah. It says they wrote a scripture at their hand. They wrote a book. How can this be referring to the Bible being corrupted when it just told you this group doesn't know the Bible? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Reread it again. Whoever this group is, whatever scripture they wrote, it is a book they wrote and claimed it's from God. This makes but sense. it's not any of the books of the Bible being corrupted because they don't know the books of the Bible. This makes sense, yeah. Did you catch it? Yeah, exactly. So this verse that they quote, 279, can never refer to the Bible, right? No, because it already told exactly. you in 78. This group don't know the scripture. They're illiterate when it comes to that scripture. Exactly. They only have heard, heard about the scripture, but they don't know it. They haven't read it. So whatever scripture they wrote, whatever book they wrote with their hand and sold it to deceive people, this is God's word. It has nothing to do with the Bible because it just told you they don't know the Bible. They haven't read the Bible. They're ignorant of the Bible. Exactly. So you know what? It's not about some other book that they invented and concocted, like the Talmud. Didn't the Jews come up with a body of literature called the Talmud? Yeah, just like just like the, uh, the Sunnah, right? Hadith. Ah, oh, like the. Uh, so, in other words, this could be referring to these books written by the Jews that they say are authoritative and inspired, like the Talmud, which has nothing to do with the Bible, and they passed off those sources as revelation. Exactly. Exactly.